So today I thought it would be an awesome idea to show you some of the tips, hacks and tricks that I've picked up over the years. Some of them are pretty borderline genius and I can tell you one thing, if I'd known them when I'd first got started, I would have improved a lot quicker. So let's get started with hack number one. Use scotch tape around the edges of your drawing. Measure equal distances all the way around the paper and then carefully mask off the edges using scotch tape. When the drawing is complete, use a hairdryer to gently lift off the scotch tape and that will leave you with a beautiful border all the way around your drawing, giving it a professional finish. Hack number two is to use two sets of pencils. The one set I sharpen to a standard round tip as normal. This sharp point is perfect for detail work. The second set of pencils are sharpened to a chisel point. To see how I do this safely, you can watch my intro to pencil drawing class. I'll leave a link for you in the description below. You can use the chisel point pencils in many ways. If you hold it flat, you can quickly shade large areas. If you hold it upright, you can use it to draw long thin lines without the tip becoming blunt. It's also perfect for drawing hair. When using the round point pencils, turn them in your hand as you draw. After a few strokes, rotate the pencil an eighth of a turn, then continue drawing for a few more strokes before repeating the rotating process. This way you are basically sharpening the pencil as you draw. It keeps the tip of the pencil reasonably sharp and you can draw for ages without having to stop and sharpen the pencil. As you draw, your pencils gradually become shorter and shorter up to a point where they are difficult to hold. At this stage you usually throw the pencil away and buy a new one. By doing this you are often throwing away up to a third of the usable pencil. What you want to do is get yourself a few of these pencil extenders. You push the lock back, insert your pencil and then lock the pencil in place. You can now comfortably draw with a short pencil until there's virtually nothing left of it. Don't you just hate covering large areas of paper with graphite? It takes forever and it's incredibly difficult to get a nice even tonal value across the area. Hack number five will solve this problem for you. Take a spare sheet of paper, then cover it in graphite using a soft pencil like a 6 or a 9B. Take a small piece of t-shirting material and pick up some of that graphite by rubbing it over the paper. You can now use the cloth to quickly cover large areas of your drawing with graphite. Keep the cloth loaded with graphite by alternating between rubbing over the graphite paper and your drawing paper. The next few hacks are all about keeping your drawing and you nice, neat and clean as you draw. It always looks so amateur when sketch lines inadvertently show through on the final drawing. You can avoid this by first doing your sketch work on a thin sheet of paper which is the same size as your final drawing paper. You can now grid, sketch, scratch, erase, scribble and correct as much as you want to without worrying about dirtying the paper. Once you're happy that you have good outlines, you can take your sheet of paper that has been covered in graphite and use it like carbon paper. Carefully place it upside down on your drawing paper, then line up your sketchwork with this drawing paper. You can then use a pen or a pencil to transfer the final outlines to the drawing paper. Now you can start your drawing with a perfectly clean paper and only the correct outlines visible. For hack number 7, you will ensure that even your transferred sketch lines won't show through in the final drawing. Take your kneaded eraser and roll it out into a sausage shape. You can now gently roll the eraser over your drawing until the sketch lines are barely visible. As you draw, use hack number 8, which is to put a clean sheet of paper under your hand. Your hand will not only stay clean, it will protect your drawing as well. Your skin has a natural oil coating on it to keep the moisture in. But when drawing, this oil soaks into the paper. 
The graphite will then adhere to this oil residue in the areas where you've touched. When drawing, you also have a problem of your hands sweating as you work. This causes your drawing paper to buckle and wrinkle as it soaks up the moisture from your hand. By having a sheet of paper under your hand, you avoid this problem. When moving the sheet of paper though, don't drag it over the drawing, otherwise you will smudge the drawing underneath. Carefully lift it up from the one side and place it down again in the new spot. Hack number 9 builds on from hack number 8 and that is to use a transparent sheet of paper under your hand. When using a transparent sheet of paper you can then obviously see what's underneath so you never lose the bigger picture while drawing. You can use any non-oily transparent paper like a sheet of transparency, wax paper or even parchment paper. Any of those work perfectly. Hack number 10 is to shade in multiple directions. If you look at your drawing paper under a microscope you'll notice that it isn't smooth. There are little ridges on the surface that look something like this. When shading in one direction only parts of those ridges are filled with graphite. By shading in multiple directions you cover more of those ridges giving you a smoother looking shading. For more ways to get beautiful smooth shadings, you can watch my 10 pencil shading hacks tutorial. The link is in the description below. Moving on to hack number 11. As you draw, you get graphite dust on the paper, especially when you have shaded a dark area using a soft pencil. You want to get rid of those loose graphite particles, otherwise they're going to smudge your drawing. The most common method is to blow the loose graphite away. You don't want to do this because it moistens the paper and that causes the graphite to not adhere as well to the paper in those areas. And then of course you may accidentally spit on your paper and this isn't only hilarious but it's a disaster for your drawing. So you don't want to do that either. Hack number 11 then is to use a soft hairbrush to flick the loose graphite away. Don't rub it with a brush, just gently flick the dust away. I use a watercolour mop brush and flick towards the top of my drawing paper. That way the dust ends up on the table above the drawing in an area where neither the drawing nor my hands will reach while I'm working, keeping everything nice and clean. Hack number 12 is to use your eraser to negatively draw in the highlights. You'll often find that it's easier to use an eraser to lift out a highlight afterwards than it is to try and avoid the highlight area as you draw. You can use a kneaded eraser to lift out gentle highlights and a pen shaped eraser to lift out more prominent highlights and reflections. Tip number 13 is to use a pen shaped eraser to lift out fine details. By cutting off the tip of the eraser every now and again you get a fantastic sharp edge which you can use to lift out the finest lighter details. I also rotate the eraser in my hand as I work to ensure the edge that I'm using to erase with is nice and clean. Our final hack is to use a scribe or empty pen to indent the paper where you want fine lines like whiskers to appear in your drawing. As you shade, the graphite can't reach into the indentation, leaving a perfectly fine lined light whisker. If you would like to see how I use these techniques to draw amazing drawings like this lion, reflective glass, portraits, figures and more, you can head over to my website onlineartlessons.com. There, my patrons get access to hundreds of real-time step-by-step drawing lessons in pencil drawing, pastel drawing, pen and ink drawing, as well as oil, acrylic and watercolor painting. So head on over to onlineartlessons.com to see how the classes can help you with your art. There you go. There's 14 of my hacks, tips and tricks that have made a big difference to my drawing ability. And I'm sure they're going to make a big difference to your drawing ability as well. So if you did enjoy the video and want more tips and tricks like this, just comment below. Then I know I can go ahead and make another one. Of course, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.